Okay, so I'm uh, here at the Left Forum in New York City with uh, Rob Robinson, who is actually uh, one of the organizers of the Left Forum here and has also hosted some panels and uh, has also worked extensively on issues of economic justice as it relates to the poor and the homeless in New York City. And so uh, we're going to talk with him a little bit. Uh, again, this is the Revolutionary Road radio show, and I'm also at the Left Forum here. So, Rob, tell us, first of all, what the Left Forum is all about. So the Left Forum, which was, uh, we're in our 10th year now as Left Forum, it was formerly the Socialist Scholars Conference. And it, it started out as a way for academic um, intellectuals to come together and discuss uh, the, the effects of capitalism on people in society, right? It grew and evolved into something else, you know, decision-making and inviting more folks in, open this up and become a different space. It evolved into what is called the Left Forum, and every year folks come together in New York City from around the world, from around the country, around the world, and get together and discuss the very same issues. But I think now it's evolved into something even bigger. You know, we normally have close to 400 panels, a thousand speakers, uh, great plenary guests. And I think now, as you look at it, it's, it's the true vehicle where progressive left get together to have conversations and dialogue about true social change. Um, so tell me, I know this year's theme is revolution or reform. Um, what do you think about that idea? So we made it revolution and the or, right. and I think that is that is a key part of that statement, right? There are those of us who think reformist politics are the way to go, right? You wanna you wanna tweak the system, fix it. There are revolutionaries that say the system needs to be changed. So we hope that that this, that this forum sparks those debates. Me personally, I'm a believer in revolution. Um, you, if, if folks were at the panel that I spoke at yesterday, the U.S. Social Forum, I think we missed a step in this country with respect to revolution. I thought a revolutionary moment was when the when the government took tax money out of our pockets to bail out the banks. That was a time for revolution in this country. That's when the people should have risen up and said, "You know what? That's it." You know, you're bailing out the banks, you're saying it's okay for us to fail, and then those very same banks are turning around and evicting us from our homes. It just doesn't make any sense, and that was the time for rage, for outrage, and for this country to rise up and go, oh, but you saw nothing. I think instead we bought into the narrative that you're shame, right? You didn't realize the American dream. You didn't pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Right. So, it, it, you know, it's a challenge. I think different people think about it differently. This particular person, myself, I think about revolution. I think that's how you treat a true social change. Now, tell me a little bit more about the U U.S. social form. Of course, I'm familiar with it, but this is an important, kind of, in a way, precursor. In some sure. Ways. What, what, what about the U.S. Social so, form? the U.S. social form is moving to this new model, a polycentric model, um, which means multiple sites. And so we've learned, we've had some lessons learned from riot social forms. It's great that we can mobilize 20,000 people and move them to an Atlanta or 20,000 people and move them to Detroit. But what happens with that conversation? What, what happens afterwards? And we saw that it was difficult to manage that process. And it was also, we, you know, we, were, we weren't thinking about other folks around the world. There were some people that didn't have the resources to come into Atlanta, the resources to come to Detroit. So how can we set up social forums at the same time in different polycentric sites, multiple sites where different people can own in? We have the technology. Are we utilizing technology to the best of our ability? Well, now we can put it through the two tests. I think the social forum is thinking critically about this issue. How to engage society as a whole in the U.S. You know, progressive as a whole. Yeah, I know at this point there are currently three sites. Philadelphia, which the organization I'm involved in is one of the anchor groups there, and that's the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. There's Jackson, Mississippi, which has multiple historic reasons behind it, including the recent death of the mayor there. And then San Jose just recently came on board. And so we recognize it's a really important movement. And as you're mentioning the idea of regions, we think of local. And of course, you're, this is your hometown. You're a big Apple guy. Sure. Tell us what is going on as far as what you're doing and what progressive groups are doing. So there's a struggle, right? Uh, in, within New York City, we, we thought we elected a mayor that had a pretty, quote-unquote, progressive platform. 
while the message was a progressive message before the election, what we're actualizing is not progressive, right? Um, and I think we're learning that. We're learning it to hard. Again, I will challenge New York City, as I did the country, to rise up. Right? You have a mayor that stepped in the office, and the first appointment he made was Bill Breath. Right? The former police commissioner under Giuliani that brought in the broken window theory of policing. Right. No reaction from the social justice movement. Where was the outrage? Where was it? No, we're not going. Didn't push back. The people he elected in, in housing programs. Alicia Glenn comes from Goldman Sachs, right? What kind of message are you sending to the people? You know, it's not a progressive message. So I think what we're learning, and we're getting some hard lessons, but I, I still challenge groups on the ground, community groups to rise up here. The message hasn't been a strong enough message of, of pushing back and challenging those positions in the land. And I think we have to do a better job in the city. A couple of problems. Folks in organizing in New York City get very territorial, right? Um, and then they they fight around issues, right? And issue fighting, organizing in silos separates us. It doesn't, doesn't build power. It isolates us in little silos and divides us eventually. So we have to get past some of these things. We have some folks here from Brazil right now touring the city and talking about building a true social movement. I think it's different outside of the U.S. than it is here in New York City and around the country. So hopefully we'll get some lessons learned from those folks. Thank you, Rob. Rob is my old buddy here. We know each other from movements for years. There you go. Good talking with you. Good. Picture the homeless is still together, right? Yeah.